Chris, thanks. Happening right now, the community coming together to remember a pioneer here in the Queen City. Taking a live look right now at the celebration of life service for Dr. Bertha Maxwell Roddy. She was a trailblazer dedicated to preserving black history here in North Carolina. WCNC Charlotte's Destiny Richards joins us now with the legacy she's leaving behind. Destiny. Yeah, this celebration of life service is happening right now at Friendship Missionary Baptist Church right here in Charlotte. Um, it just got underway in the last couple of minutes and it is open to anyone who wants to come and honor her and her legacy. Dr. Maxwell Roddy touched so many people as a leader and an educator in the Charlotte community. Some of her earliest achievements include becoming the first black woman principal at a CMS elementary school during segregation and the second black professor at UNC Charlotte in 1970. Later, she co-founded the Harvey B. Gantt Center in Uptown and became a champion for African-American arts and culture. Thoughtful posts in response to her passing have been pouring in on social media, including from the Gantt Center and the Delta Sigma Theta sorority, where she served as the 20th president. Mecklenburg County Commissioner at Large Arthur Griffin was in her classroom all those years ago and says her influence won't be forgotten. She used to always walk around uh, telling us that African-American history is either lost, stolen, or strayed, and she wanted to change that narrative. Mayor Vi Lyles and CMS leaders also expressed condolences when Dr. Maxwell Roddy passed just last week. She was 93 years old. Ben. 93, a real pioneer. All right, Dustin, thanks.